Um, <coughs> so, um, in right after Alexander was born, I think right after I divorced Jay, uh, as I was trying to, or maybe it was right before I divorced Jay, I can't remember, um, 2000, I had Alex in 2005, so 2005, 2006, 2007, somewhere around there, uh, when I joined, uh, I was thinking about real estate and the local office for real estate being just selling small homes, like, small homes like that. I mean, I mean, Bayside, they're a lot more money, uh, but where I was out in Ronkonkoma, they were 100,000, 100, less than $200,000. So the commissions were like $3,000, $5,000 at the most, and you don't sell that many homes because there's not as much volume or turnover, but whatever. Um, I needed something to do, and I needed to be able to have Alex with me because he's a baby, um, and make some money so I could get away from Jason. Uh, since there's no security in New York, there's no social security, there's no security, there's no anything. Um, so, um, the government here is horrific. They don't give you anything. Um, so, um, here's what happens. I went to a Tony Robbins event. Uh, his, uh, that Christopher Armstrong, he was the one who owned the franchise, uh, Century 21 Princeton Properties in Holbrook and Ronkonkoma, uh, that I was working under his umbrella. Um, so he, uh, said I needed some, you know, uh, he, he knew that somebody was coming to town, so he said, why don't you check this out? He says, go there and then come back. He says, and then we'll talk. I was like, okay, fine. So it was something called strategy management. Never heard of it before. Um, so I went to the event. Um, I, it was at a small uh, local hotel room um, in Long Island. I sat there. Um, and uh, after that, um, then he, the, there was like a one-time follow-up something or other. Um, so I waited for the phone call I spoke to him, I thanked him for uh, being there, and then he said that he wanted to, you know, he said that he wanted to know if it was okay if I, if he had somebody else call me, and I said that was fine, I would appreciate it, you know, because again, I don't know what to do, but I'm so stuck in the sense of I've got kids, I have to pay my bills, but I don't know what career I would be good or suited for in having to make some kind of money to survive, take care of myself. So, um, he set me up with a phone call. Uh, they wound up calling, first of all, they didn't, they didn't wind up calling when they said they were going to call. Uh, and then, but I didn't have, uh, what's his name's phone number, uh, to call back to follow up with. And I wasn't like, I wasn't really sure, like, was it a survey that he was, doing? Uh, it was confusing. So anyway, so then finally somebody did call me back. Um, and he wanted to go through something called an intake to see where I was, my, I guess my acuity, I don't know. So, um, or dexterity, I don't remember what word he used. So, um, we went through a couple of things. I wasn't sure if it was considered a life coach or a career coach. I wasn't sure... Uh, who the man was, where he was calling from, or what it was pertaining to. I just know that Tony Robbins um, was recommended from the local gentleman, so I called, and then he referred this gentleman to call me, um, one of his contacts, which was fine. Um, and then I don't know, it gets confusing, I don't know what happened after that. Um, I know he was asking me, right, and he said some stuff like, uh, so just describe the room that you're sitting in right now. And I'm like, okay, well, it's a basement. And he's like, wait, basement? He says, I, what do you mean basement? Why, why are you in a basement? And I'm like, well, I'm home. I was like, I have small children. And so they finished the basement uh, as like an office or living room of some sort. I was like, so I put the desk and the computer and, and whatnot down there so I could have some privacy because the house is really small and you're on top of one another and 
if I'm trying to focus on you and give you my utmost attention, if a baby cries, it's going to be unprofessional, wouldn't you think? And he's like, right, no, uh, okay, is this, uh, right, and then you want to know the color of the room, like the color of the paint on the walls. I'm like, well, it's like a darkish blue color, um, not like navy, like midnight, but not a, a light, not like it's mixed with white. Um, if I had to go with a, like, what kind of a color would it look like? I don't know. Maybe more along the lines of, like, I don't know. If you say navy shirt or, like, a navy pea coat, like that color, it's just a little lighter. Best I could do. Um, and so I had to, like, describe the room, and he was like, well, where I come from, they call it a cellar. I was like, yeah, well, that's a word I've heard. I was like, it, but in New York they don't uh, advertise it or they don't use that word. Um, I know in like the 1800s or like the later stages, they used to use that word a lot when it was an unfinished utility room of some sort. I was like, but in New York, because you're so crowded on space, a lot of people finished off other areas like a garage and things. And now they use it as living space because there's so many people in so little space. So I was like, the going term that I've heard, my, my parents have always used is basement. You know, and then you have a sub-basement, which is kind of above, half above. Um, but I don't know, again, uh, who this gentleman was, where he went, what kind of job he was speaking of, uh, if he was like a recruiter of some kind or whatnot. Um, I think he asked for my resume which um, I put together and I had emailed, but again, um, follow-up was really difficult because it was really hard. I, I really wasn't grasping what, and what, what it was he was looking for. Like he wasn't very forthcoming in explaining the, the outlook, the, the, like wh where he stood in what he does for a living, what and how I would fit into whatever that was so I could give him and build him whatever it is that he's looking for. But it's hard when you're so, like, you hold back and you expect me to know things. Why would you expect me to know who you are over a phone? I know, I mean, your friend, you know, your friends with Tony or a business associate. I don't know who that is. I met Tony once. I thought it was very nice of him to help me out, um, being, you know, whichever, um, only having met me once. So I'm a little confused why uh, the conversation was like pulling teeth. It was very difficult and I was mostly silent because I was waiting for instructions. I mean, you have to build me something if you want me to contribute. I just you weren't building me anything. I just, it was very confusing. I mean, I don't know if, and I don't know what was the job for strategy management was, is that what they call it? I, I have no idea. I mean, this is not something that the people that I've ever been around know these, they don't know these words. Like if I asked my father for strategy management, he'd say, for what, what, what do you mean? Like in, in context to what? Um, so, um, yeah, so that got confusing, but I want to make a mention of it because I wanted to be more helpful and, and I thought that I made that crystal clear to him. I just didn't know what it was that he was looking for. Uh, I don't know, you know, and I, I, again, if you don't know what you're shooting for, I mean, how do you describe the target? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like I need a little bit of help here, being that this is a whole new world. It's a whole new career field, uh, thought process, vocabulary. I mean, so that's why I, I was asking what I needed to do, uh, what he, you know, what I could do, because I felt like I was falling short of his expectations for some reason. Uh, at least that's what I was getting over the phone because he wasn't really building me anything. But then he was silent and I'm like, well, now, how do I, uh, you know, I mean, I know that you want to hire for a job, but um, 
and I need a job, but you're being very silent and I don't know how I can be helpful in explaining who I am or how I am in whatever it is that you're looking to fulfill or position that you have a job opening for. So uh, that got very confusing. Uh, he said, okay, he said, no, um, if we do direct deposit, he says, uh, he, he, asked, he says, you know, do you have, um, do you have a checking account? And I said, yes, I, I said, I have, that's how I pay my, you know, that's how I pay my bills is through the checking account. He says, okay, he says, now do you use online or how does, how do you work your, well, actually, I don't think he asked about online. He said, how do you work your checking? And I said, well, I use, um, I, I write physical checks. I said, and then I mail them and then I get the statement and I, you know, the records are there. I said, I mean, I don't normally check because by the time the statement comes, the next bill is there. So I open the bills first to pay them. And if the check didn't get there, it would say it on the bill. So, but if I need uh, a copy for some reason, I have the paper draw statement of what they mail you along with the next bill. I was like, is that helpful? And he said, actually it is. He says, you don't, you don't pay your bills on, online. I know a lot of, I was like, no, I don't, I try to stay away from the computer. I don't like the computer at all which is why I'm having a hard time finding a career choice because um, everybody wants you to sit at a desk and do nothing all day and punch keys, which I really don't want. So I'm, again, but I don't know what else there is out there. Um, so, uh, right, so that was the bill pay thing. He says, well, isn't it, I don't know, I hear a lot of people say that it's just easier to pay the bills online and I said I wouldn't know because I've never done it. I said I like having the check and then, I mean they don't even send you the cancel checks anymore, but that's fine because I still have a statement. I really, I don't like the online, I just don't. Uh, besides the fact, I mean you do everything online, you're putting the federal post office out of business, you're putting all of the employees, you're putting the mail carriers, you're putting... I mean, there's so many jobs that are lost for this online bill pay crap. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's stupid, actually. I said, there's no reason why you can't just write a paper check and do banking the way that you've always done it. I mean, it's just, it's better for the bank, it's better for the customer, and it's better for the government of people that need jobs and like the jobs that they do. I mean, that's a good civil service job, or so I've heard a federal employee as a mail carrier. They like that. They get good benefits. My Aunt Eleanor was one. She, she really liked it. I mean, so I don't know why there's all this push to all this electronic... Oh, and that was another thing. Somebody called me at one point and was asking me... They were saying something about a partnership, a royal partnership, and I was like, well, could you explain more? Like, I'm entitled to this? Like, how do I get... Like, how do I find out about it? And how do I claim my, my, sh is it a share? What word do you use? And the people on the other end of the phone were very quiet. And I was like, uh, okay, so is there any information you want to give me? Like, I mean, I'm not really understanding. Again, this, this random phone call, I was just home. I wasn't expecting anybody. I was like, and now you're telling me that there's uh, a royal partnership and... I'm entitled to some money which would help me pay my bills, but now, then you don't, when, like, uh, am I, like, you know, just strange, strange humans is all I can say. And then, um, they were asking me about Napster on the computer, and I'm like, I don't even know what that is. I was like, I don't use a computer. What's a Napster? Right, that somebody had that I downloaded Napster. I was like, that couldn't have been, I don't even know what that is. He says, yeah, a lot of people say that. And I'm like, okay, well, here's the thing. The guy that I'm trying to get away from, the husband thing, right, yeah, him, he's the one that uses uh, the computer and whatever those letters and numbers are that you just said. What do you want me to tell him? Because it's his computer. I might have bought it in my name, because it's an older version or whatever I had for college, but I mean, it's, he's, I, there's other people that use the computer. So what do you want me to do? 
He's like, no, I know, that's the problem we're having with this federal copyright law.